Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to 9th and 10th channel of Baijus. I'm your teacher Ankita and I welcome you all in a very interesting and super special class that we have been looking forward for, right? In today's class, we will be discussing about a super important chapter from history class 10, Nationalism in India. It's a very, very important chapter, right? From the exam point of view. So everyone, please make sure to stay with us till the end because in today's class, we will be finishing up this particular chapter, right? So it's a one shot where we will learn everything today about this chapter. So I hope that all of you are ready. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you all? I hope that all of you are doing good and I hope that all of you are excited. Good evening everyone, good evening. How's the Josh? I can see. Really sorry for the delay, we moved the session. Right, welcome everyone, welcome to the class. The map will come in a separate session, we'll not be able to cover the map in today's class, but we'll be covering the map in a separate session. Okay, yes, we will be starting the class, the duration of the class will be approximately for two hours. So we will try to wind up this session till 9, let's suppose, or maybe till 9.15. Okay. So everyone, if you're new here, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Yes, two things I want all of you to have it with you. We have, we need NCERT book. I hope that all of you have your NCERT book of history, right? The session duration is two hours. Yes, all of you, please don't ask me again. Yes, the session duration will be of two hours. Okay, chali. So we'll be first discussing about the non-cooperation movement, right? So this particular chapter, broadly, if we say, we can divide into the two different uh, movements that happened in India at that particular time. So we have non-cooperation movement and then we have civil disobedient movement. So we have two important movements and that's uh, the split of this particular chapter. And this whole chapter, if I have to put it out right in, in front of you, it's in terms with Gandhiji, right? So whatever we will be learning, right? Uh, so we will be learning in the way that Gandhiji have seen it, right? And that's the essence of this, right? He uh, is definitely known by all of us and he is an amazing freedom fighter. So we'll be looking into this particular chapter. Apart from that, we'll be discussing about various freedom fighters, whatever information we have in this particular chapter. Okay, so let's get started everyone. So what are the learning objectives from the first part of this chapter and in between I will be giving you break. So all of you, please make sure you stay with me till the end. Right. So everyone, let's get started. The first outcome, right? The learning outcome that we have from the non-cooperation movement is what? We will be discussing about the emergence of the movement such as Khilafat movement, non-cooperation movement and how the world war first played an import, important role in all of this. Apart from that, we will be discussing about the different social groups and how they reacted or how they acted on the non-cooperation movement. Okay, everyone, I hope that this is clear. So everyone, you can take a screenshot of this. We will be looking through this whole journey. We'll be starting with the background impact, right? What was the background? And of course, from there, we'll be moving ahead. Everyone, I hope that all of you can see and can hear me clearly. Give me a thumbs up, everyone. And please make sure you hit the like button for the video. Control and coordination with Danti will happen this week. Ashwin Raman will be coming and we'll be discussing it. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Please, please don't have any parallel conversation. I'll not be able to look into the chat that much. I will, I will be stopping in between for the doubts. But everyone, please make sure you ask the relevant doubt at the relevant time. Let's get started. So first, we're discussing about the impact of the word war first. Everyone, let me give you a brief story. Chaliye. So it's a story time, everyone. Right? As a small story time. So now, till class 8th and till class 9th, right? Agar hum class 8th mein dekhe, so the history part that you all have seen, right? You have learned about the independence or a part, right? They have given, they, they talked about the national movement. In class 9, we didn't have much about the Indian history. But in class 10, we're just focusing on it. Now this chapter starts from the world war first. The end man, how it impacted India. 
So we are already in the 20th century, the beginning of the 19th century, uh, the ending of the... See how we write the centuries is the ulta, right? So uh, in this, we are starting from 1900, 1912 approximately, and from that year till the independence. Yes, now... What we know that the World War I happened in which year from 19? Everyone, World War I happened in which year? Jaldi se bataiye. We know that. Very good. World War I. So we have, we know that World War I happened in 19? Yes. Very good. 1914, absolutely correct. And went into the 1918. Very good. Very good, everyone. So now that we know that, right? We know that it has an impact. There was a huge impact on the our country, right? Especially in terms of the economy. So we'll be discussing about that. What was the impact? Let's quickly take a look over here. Impact kya tha? Bahut simple si baat hai. The impact was really, really very bad, right? So what we, we saw, they, this whole World War I was fought between two powers. We have the central power and we have the allied powers. Anyone can tell me who were there in the central power? It will be a very quick revision for all of us. Right? Who were all there in the central power and in the allied power? Jaldi say everyone. Yes, very good. Central power may which nations we have. Right? Or in allied nations, which nations we have. So we have Great Britain. Sorry, not they were there in the allied. Yes. In central power, we have Austria. We have Germany, very good. We have Hungary, we have Ottoman Empire, right? And of course, we have Bulgaria. Very good, very good. And then of course, in the Allied, may we have Great Britain, we have France, we have Russia, Italy, Japan, etc., USA, okay? So we know that, right, we know that World War I happened in the 1940 and went up to 1918. And because of that, it changed the economical and political situation of our country. Right? Very good. Now let's see what were the economical changes. Everyone take a screenshot of this. Kya hua? What was the important reason and how it impacted? First of all, we saw the increase in the prices. Right, all the product that we have, right, at that particular time after the World War First, we saw that we saw that there's an increase in the prices, right? We saw the increase in the prices in the custom and on the individual taxes also. There was definitely the shortage of the food, right? Because the food was going to uh, to supply, right? Of course, for, they need the food, right? The British need the food for their people. So, of course, we saw that the food was also going there. There was a shortage of food. And apart from that, of course, a lot of taxes were there. And there are other conditions because of that. We saw there is a decline in the food. Right? Then, of course, people were forced into joining this army. This is very, very important. So, at that particular time, right, during the World War, uh, first only, the Britishers forced Indians to join the army and fought along with them right that is a very important reason then of course we have the influenza epidemic right what is the meaning of epidemic over here it is there in that particular region only right it's not pandemic that is throughout the world but it is epidemic which means that it is there in one particular region so because of that also many people suffered and many people lost their lives so what was the situation after the, the economical situation of the war after World War I uh, in our country, we were not strong in terms of food, in terms of, you know, people were not there because they were kind of forced into joining army. And of course, the taxes were also very much increased. Everyone, are we clear with this? Yes, everyone, are we clear with this? Yes, it is a disease. Chill, boy, and repent, it's a, it's, it's a disease caused by a virus. Okay, very good. Now, if you're clear with this, let's see how this now, everyone, this particular question can come for three marks. And you can write about the four points over here and you can elaborate a little bit more. Easy peasy, not very difficult. Then comes the second part, the arrival of our hero in the, the, the chapter over here, right? Gandhiji to India and, of course, the idea of the Satyagraha. This chapter is there in the board. 
Why you think this chapter will not be there in the board? Uh, I will be revising it in a later, but now I'll not be able to stop in between and revise this. So please follow through. Please follow through it. Uh, you know ahead with me. Yes. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Okay. So what we saw that Gandhi ji came to our country in which year? In January nineteen fifteen. Okay. He came to our country from Africa, and of course he over there in Africa. was helping people right he got an idea that the britishers are not doing justice to the people in africa they face a lot of discrimination right and when he came back to our country he had an idea about the satyagraha right satyagraha satya means truth and gra means to hold on to truth right to hold the truth they believe that the power of truth is really very strong and of course if we if we are true to ourselves and of course if we are true right what we'll see we will see that the people will listen to us what had happened he believed that that even if people are not listening to you and if you are just doing your part of speaking the truth even if the person who is against you eventually with the time they will realize that you are what you are doing and what you are doing is correct and it is true and they will surrender they will actually let go of that right yes very good everyone right in need to search then seek the truth so basically he was a firm believer of that satyagraha he believed in the truth right and making sure that people are in align to it and of course he believed that violence will not be able to help us non violence is something that all of us should move towards okay so he was a firm believer of the non violence right and he believed that the truth will be able to help us in winning the independence and along with that we have the non violence it's our dharm according to mahatma gandhi ji it was a dharm to follow the non religious sorry non violence path clear yes and mahatma gandhi ji believed that uh, that this dharma of non violence will actually unite all the indians so of course we talk about the satyagraha the idea of satyagraha was to talk truth right to follow the truth yes to follow the truth to look for the reality seek the truth right and of course follow non violence once of course he started with uh, the satyagraha right he did what he came to our country right and he started visiting right he started visiting different parts of our country yes vengeance means revenge no i'm not angry yes cherry and explained it bachche again i have explained it twice satyagraha okay so now what we know about it we know that when he came back to our country he started visiting different places right then only he'll be able to understand what the citizens of the country are going through so he started moving to the places and wherever he found that people needs his help he stayed there he did the dharna and he helped the people so one such important date and the place that we have not the date but the year is there and there are three important places everyone what we have we have champaran right champaran how many of you remember this place from class from class 8th if you have read this in the history everyone ruling the country side right where of course they have talked about this very good very good everyone yes so champaran right is there in bihar and after the uh, you know indigo ki kheti in indigo cultivation got banned in west bengal bengal at that particular time it started in bihar and at that particular time what happened when gandhi ji were visiting the farmers were in struggle right farmers were like you know we are not allow we are not allow to plant our own trees and even if we are planting the indigo trees we have to give one third to the government to the britishers and the um, the rest remaining amount if you are selling it to the government also they are giving us a very small amount of money for it yes so that was a reason that they were sitting on a hartal right they were sitting on us on a satyagraha yes so gandhi ji supported the peasants in their struggle against the plantation system and that's how that all started 
वेरी दैट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आई कैन सी इन द चैट कि मैम चंपारण का इवेंट हम क्या लिखे 1917 एंड 1916 अगेन इन वेरियस बुक्स दे वुड मेंशन 1960 बट व्हेन गांधी जी वेंट देयर चंपारण में ये स्ट्रगल चल रहा था आई एग्री इट वाज हैपनिंग बट व्हेन गांधी जी गॉट इन्वॉल्व इनटू इट इन द ईयर 1917 In our textbook also it's 1917. So what we will follow? We will follow the year 1970. Are we clear? Yes. Are we clear, everyone? Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yes. Clear now. Then of course let's talk about Kerala again. This is year 1970 again from our textbook only. Yes. It could be Sakshi. Just check whether it's the rationalized new textbook. Right in the new textbook, it's the 1917. So then we have another place which is Kerala again. Satyagraha uh, Gandhi ji went there. He supported the farmers over there. And which year 1917? It's there in Gujarat. Okay, it's there in the Gujarat. What happens against the British government, of course? And Gandhi ji supported the the peasants, and they were they were doing the Satyagraha so that they can. What was their demand to reduce the tax revenue? Right? Yes. Very good. Okay, very good, everyone. I'll just check with that if that's the case. It's in Bihar. Okay, the last one that we have is Ahmedabad Mill Satyagraha. Now, two places me, two places me. What we have? We have the farmers who are sitting on the Satyagraha, and Gandhi ji supported them. One we saw in the Champaran, and of course in the Kheda in Gujarat. Now, in Ahmedabad. the gandhi ji was supporting the mill workers now what was the condition at that particular time anyways those there is no rise in the money rise in the money like their wages are not getting increase the prices are increasing right after the world war first people don't have food to eat in midst of all of that the gandhi ji supported the workers right and they wanted a raise in the salary and of course a little bit flexibility of the timings so they sat on the satyagraha with gandhi ji and of course gandhi ji helped them in this everyone are we clear right all three satyagrahas were the regional in nature right everyone are we clear yes you will get the notes you will get the notes don't worry about it initial sat initial satyagraha means th these are the days when not many people were aware about that gandhi ji is going into different different places and are helping people yes okay clear everyone yes very good so those are the initial satyagraha ha ha it's okay ujwal koi dikkat ki baat nahi if they have written the two lines just write that you can follow through from this particular part right you don't have to write much i'm just telling you a brief history of that everyone clear regional means region bharat region right we have different region in our country right it was more in terms of regional it is not happening at a national level it is happening in okay okay it's just happening in gujarat or it's just happening in rajasthan that is a regional it's not happening nas nation wide everyone are we clear are we clear with this chaliye good everyone how's the josh clear clear very good chaliye now let's move ahead and let's talk about a very important thing that came together and binded our nation everyone yes iske baad mein we have a dhamaka when all of this was happening right the britishers got a little bit conscious oh my god people are coming together people are sitting for satyagraha now we are losing a control we should come up with this right we should come up with something to control the people okay so what we saw we saw that there was introduction of the rolets act right in the year 1919 so what we saw in this act let's quickly see yes have increased my pace if all of you are there with me i'm i'm with you on this okay so what we saw that this particular act gave the power to the government to suppress to repress political activities and to detain any political prisoner without any trial for the true years so you know what the government can do now for example if i am a satyagrahi right if i am there as a freedom fighter they can actually arrest me and put me behind the jail 
without the court trial and eventually they can give me the punishment also. This act was passed by the imperial. Everyone, you can note down this. It's given in our textbook, and if you can, if you have your textbook, mark it up in your textbook, right? This was given by the imperial legislative council, which was sitting there in Britain. Have no idea what is happening in a country. Don't know about what we are suffering from. But again, they are making the laws for us in this particular council. We have few Indian members also. They opposed it, but of course, those people didn't hear, right? So of course we saw that nobody heard them, and this act came to our country. Now of course when we talk about this, is it's clear cut indication that the Britishers got a little bit afraid that what is happening to Indians and why they started suddenly revolting, right? Of course the revolt was happening for the longest time. It started in 1857, as we all know. But by this year, what was happening? There's more and more contribution from the common people, and that is what. Scares them. So what happened? They actually thought that we this can actually hamper and will the people will get scared. But of course, people were not ready to let go of this. So what happened? We saw that Gandhi ji initiated the nationwide satyagraha. I hope that now all of you are clear. Yes, I hope that now you are clear. We have regional satyagraha, which is happening in small to small to small region. But right? Yes. Everyone, are we clear? But now, what is happening is that nationwide satyagraha means that all over the India, there is the indication, right? There is the news that the we will be sitting for satyagraha. Hartal means people will not be doing anything, right? Hartal, aaj hartal, aaj hum koi kam nahi karenge. There was no work will be done on that particular day. Railway, other services will be closed, and people will just sit. They will not be doing any violence, but they'll just sit, and they will just. Do their part, okay? So, on six sixth of April, nineteen nineteen, right? On sixth of April, nineteen ninety, what we saw, Gandhi initiated the nationwide satyagraha. Everyone remember the year. It's not a holiday. Hartal is not a holiday. For example, let's suppose a uh, hartal. Everyone is a strike. Yes, right. During the strike days, what will happen? Roads will not be active. No railway. No planes. Nothing will be active. No railway. No roadways. Right. Uh, the transportation will be hampered. No shops will be open. Okay. That was a condition. So what we saw that after this act was passed, right? Gandhi ji came up with an amazing idea of the nationwide satyagraha to unite people all together. Now let's see what were the aftermaths of it. So this is. This is happening, everyone, on sixth of April. Now I want all of you, everyone, please listen to me carefully. This happened on sixth of April, right? So what had happened from sixth to thirteenth of April is something that we will be discussing now in a very short span of time. From sixth of April, of course, this act came and people started to sitting for the hartal. People came together and they're like, yes, yes, we will support Gandhi ji. And they started their movement, not only in the right, uh, not only in some part of country, but every part. Especially in Punjab at that particular time, people came together, right? And they started the movement. They started sitting. Now, of course, during that particular time, we have a very important personality over here. Who any anyone can name them? Very good in Punjab at that particular time. We have a. Army journal. His name was Journal Dyer. So he was there, and he was a very strict man, right? So to make sure that all of this is, you know, everything is in control of the law and order, what they did, they tried to restrict the entry of Gandhi ji in Delhi. First of all, they made sure that Gandhi ji is not entering into the Delhi. If the leader is not there, people will lose their motivation. So they restricted the entry of Gandhi ji in Delhi. Okay. Apart from that, what he did. General Dyer, on around this time, right from ten, from six to ten, and from ten to thirteen, there was a very special law which is called as martial law was applied. He started with a little bit of violence on the people, right? Some small, small, you know, dialogues between the people, hitting the people very badly, and he said that we have the martial law. Everyone, we will be looking into this in detail, but I just want all of you to. 
listen to the story that I am telling you. Right? We have the martial law. Now, according to the martial law, if we have the martial law, if the city, if the place is under the control of the army, army will be taking a charge of it, right? And meeting people is prohibited. No four people can come together and talk. No, nothing. If if people are doing any sort of uh, you know freedom fighting activities, they'll also be taken and arrested. They he gave the order of shoot in sight. If you see someone, just shoot them. So of course the situation was very tense. At that particular time, what happened on 13th of April, which is the day of Baisakhi, what happened on that day? In the Bagh, which is Jaliawala Bagh, you know, people came together. Not all the people were aware about the martial law, first of all, because they, they are coming from villages for a Baisakhi Mela. I'm sure you would have seen a lot of fairs, right, that happens. So they came just for a fair. They, was not aware, they, were, they were not aware about the martial law and more than that people were not even aware about what Gandhi ji have said right that nationwide satyagra so they just came with their family to enjoy the festival and to enjoy the fair there were few people who were there in the bag who were supporting Gandhi ji satyagra but of course they were just doing it with very complete non-violence they were not doing anything they were not doing anything that could harm to anyone, right? But what happened when General Dyer got this information, he got really very, you know, triggered and what he did, he gave the order to shoot. Now, we all know what had happened, so I'll not be going into the detail. But of course, he sealed all the entries and it was an open fire. So many people lost their lives and this particular massacre, right, where we saw the mass killing of the innocent people, gave initially the kick I would say, unfortunately, people become really aware about the situation that something happened to our brothers and sisters and that's how the movement got really moved ahead. Everyone, are we clear? Yes, everyone, are we clear? So this was a brief story. What we have now, I'll show you the screen, right? Now I'll show you the screen. You can take the screenshot and now you have the picture. Everyone, sabko story clear hua? I hope that all of you are aware about the incident and the events that had happened. Now we'll repeat it. Okay. So what we saw everyone, here we go. So let's see what happened before the Jaliawala Bagh massacre, right? What were the events? So we know that rallies were organized throughout the country. The workers went on strike in railway, workshops, shops were closed. Alarmed by the unpopular surge, what happens? Britishers administration got into some panic mode and they thought that they have to control it. To control that, local leaders were picked from Amritsar and Mahatma Gandhi's entry in Delhi was banned, barred, right? Mahatma Gandhi ji could not enter the Delhi. On 10th of April, we saw that the police in the Amritsar, right, they, you know, they, they did some attacking on the people and uh, of course, so they tried to control that whole situation. And General Dyer said that we have the martial law. Okay, everyone, martial law was implemented. So on t after the incident of 10th of April, we saw the acting of, you know, martial law came into the picture. Bard means, chill boy, entry, rogdi, stopped. Everyone, then of course, we know that what happened, right? So on 10th of April, this was a condition that, of course, there's a martial law being, which is, which is there in the city. And kind of people were aware about it. Only few people were aware about it. Majority of the people were unaware about it. So what happened? People on 13th of April, people came, people came to the Jaliawala Bagh. They were celebrating. People were there just for the Baisakhi Fair. But people who came from the villages were unaware about the martial law. And General Dyer took a very strong decision blocking the exit and the entry point and did an open fire and many people lost their lives and after some time people asked him why you did this so the the thing that he said that this whole thing will actually will produce a moral effect in the in the indians mind or in the minds of the satyagrahi and they will be in a feeling of terror all of you are you clear about this yes ajay the soldiers did right soldiers did all of you, are you clear about this? Everyone, we have to remember, right? We have to remember the years. So please make sure you remember the years. Martial law is a law in which what happens? 
there is an army rule at that particular area, right? Army will be controlling that. We, no four people can come and meet together. There is a restriction on the activities which are happening in the city. And it's a very, very strong law where people cannot just meet and talk. Clear? Okay. So this was the incident that had happened everyone. After this, of course, all the Indians were on a huge, right? Well, in a very were in a huge rage, and of course, we saw various strikes, clash with police, and of course, attacking on the buildings. Mahatma Gandhi ji have to call off the movement because of its violent nature. Now, this is something we will be seeing again in the future. That Gandhi ji was a firm believer, right? He was a very firm believer of the non-violence. But every time any movement started, people eventually will become violent, and then Gandhi ji have called off the movement. Everyone, are we clear up to here? Yes? Everyone, are we clear up to here? Yes, all of you? It is unfair. Yes, it was unfair. Unfortunately, you know, our ancestors have seen that struggle. Very good. So, after the Jaliawala Bagh incident, right, uh, we saw a lot of changes happening. After the, after the movement also, General Dyer and of course, various different places across India, Britishers treated the Satyagrahi with a lot of humiliation, right? They were forced to rub their nose on the floor, they were humiliated in the public, right? And they of course have faced some extreme punishments from the British government at that particular time. All of you, are you clear up to here? Duration of the class is 2 hours. We started at 7.15, hopefully by 9.15 we'll be able to finish the class. Chali. Now everyone, let's see what had happened. The end of Rolex Satyagraha, right? So after this, we saw something big happening. So now the Gandhiji realized that Rolls, uh, the act which was there, right? And of course, this was limited to cities. And now Gandhiji had a vision that, you know, we cannot have a small movement. We have to involve all the people together. And for this purpose, he started communicating along with the different communities, right? And at that particular time, he decided to support the Khilafat movement to gain the Muslim community support. Okay? So everyone, we all know that India, we all know, right, if we come united, we'll be able to do something. Yes or no? Yes? We all know that, right? So, Gandhiji also thought about it. Okay, you know, we need the support of different communities. Then only we'll be able to achieve the independence. And that's how we'll so we will see that he actually went ahead and supported the Khilafat movement. Everyone, are we clear with this? Yes, I'm telling you the important questions also. We had the first question, the after the background, what are the effects of the World War I on the Indian economy. Then we discussed about the three important places, of course, where the Gandhiji went for the initial Satyagraha. We have Rollins Act, that can be asked for two marks question. Jaliawala, Jaliawala Bagh event as such it will not come but it can come that how it impacted the people. Yes, there is no meaning of it. It was the name of the individual who gave the act, Ajay. Okay, now everyone will be talking about the Khilafat movement. Now let's talk about the Khilafat movement. Now again a very brief story, a choti si story everyone I am telling you. AV are very, not exactly the similar but yeah kind of. We don't have any very harsh action, but yeah, little bit there. Okay. Uh, Sameksha Bachi, that will be the later part. Yes. Okay. So everyone, what we will be learning in the Khilafat movement. Khilafat movement. Again, I'll tell you a story. Sab se sunenge. How many of you remember about the Balkan region? Raise your hand. How many of you remember about the Ottoman Empire from class 9? Jaldi se. How many of you remember about the Ottoman Empire? Yes, me, 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 me. Right? Me, 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 me. Yes, all of us remember about the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire was ruling, of course, Ottoman Empire was where? In Turkey. And of course, they were ruling the various parts of Europe, especially the lower part of the Europe, right? The Balkan region. After that, right? After we remember in the French Revolution, the last line which says that, or in the last chapter only, right? In the last chapter, in rise of nationalism in Europe, we saw that 
the the ending was that people the countries are fighting for the land and that led to the world war first so after the world war first what had happened ottoman empire were there in the central power but they lost the war to the allied forces right yes we know that as the peace treaty what had happened that ottoman empire ke spiritual leader right khalifa right khalifa have been facing some harsh treaties even people say ha this is a peace treaty but the rules and regulation of peace treaties were not very helpful so what had happened all the muslims across throughout the world was supporting khalifa the spiritual leader of muslim right at that particular time the same thing was happening in our country also because they felt that why these allied powers are kind of misbehaving with our spiritual leader that is a reason we in our country saw the movement happening which is the khilafat movement everyone are we clear everyone are we clear all of you are clear that why the khilafat movement in india started quick thumbs up jaldi se adarsh aditi adarsh aap aditi aur prince ka date of birth jaan ke kya karoge that will not be coming in the examination adarsh chalo focus karo yes chaliye now let's take a quick recap of it right chaliye so of course what was the khilafat issue and the way forward so let's talk about it everyone so a harsh treaty was imposed on the spiritual head of the muslim the ottoman empire post world war right and indians were supporting it and that particular time gandhi ji saw a golden chance to unite indians and sorry hindus and muslim so he supported the ali brothers right and he went to mumbai to discuss about uniting them right he saw that it's a good chance people will understand that hindus and muslims should come together with a great intention of joining two communities right he went to mumbai to have the discussion with the ali brothers so what had happened ali brothers were there in mumbai and what they did they actually supported right so they said that yes gandhi ji we will join you right and there were two brothers we have muhammad ali right Muhammad Ali and Muhammad Ali and Shaukat Ali, who are Ali brothers. Muhammad Ali, very good, Sakshi, for helping your friends out here. Two very important individual, right? Muhammad Ali and Shaukat Ali, two brothers, and we call them as Ali brothers, right? So Ali brothers were there, yes, very good, right? So Ali brothers came and they said, "Ki yes, Gandhi ji, we are there with you." What had happened? They all went to the Congress. Congress session in the year 1920, which happened, right? And what they did? They did that. Okay, fine. We will actually work together. Everyone, this is super, super important, right? Gandhi ji convinced the other leader also that they need to start a movement, a non-cooperation movement in support of the Khilafat as well as for Swaraj. So what happened? they said that let's come together let's join the single movement only and we'll be looking for the freedom everyone are we clear with this yes are we clear with this it's a three marks question they can ask you write about the khilafat movement clear done 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 very good okay yes ma'am who imposed the harsh treaty on khalifa so the nations right allied nations allied powers we cannot have one because all of them wore the won the war right at the end yes krishna definitely they did later part we'll see that very good sakshi okay yes krishna i've answered your question are maths kahan se aa gaya maths and sst we are on extreme opposite end allied means oh others not allied bachche i said allied we had two powers in the world war central and allied powers okay chali everyone now i'll stop for a some time before we move ahead i hope that everything is clear to you jaldi se very good very good okay hello yes everyone every i hope that things are clear yes let me 
Okay, very good, very good. So everyone, till now we have talked about uh, what had happened after the World War First. Then of course we talked about the initial days of Satyagraha, right? Then we talked about that how uh, the Rollets Act influenced or impacted the Indians. We talked about the Jallianwala Bag incident, and then of course we just now talked about the Khilafat movement. Yes, clear. Okay. Yes, Muhammad martial law ka matlab hai bache martial law. What is the martial law? So remember everyone martial law is a law which was imposed by the government, right? And of course the government has no control, the army will take over. The army will take over the charge and they will have separate rules. Nobody should come in groups and meet at any one particular time, right? They should not be meeting and mingling up. Right, so there's a lot of restriction, no shops will be open, etc, etc. Okay, what type of question can come from this particular topic? So they can ask about what was Khilafat movement, straight, simple. They can ask that how Gandhiji felt uh, that, you know, how they can unite the two communities. We can write about the Khilafat movement. Okay, yes, very good, very good everyone. So let's move ahead and let's talk about it. The launch of the non-cooperation movement, everyone. Let's talk about the no launch of the uh, launch of the non-cooperation movement. Little star, I'll tell you about it. We don't have a specific date, but in 1919, the committee was formed. Okay? Yes, Kaju Katli, absolutely. Yes, yes. Welcome to the class. Clear, everyone? Let's talk about the non-cooperation movement. Why non-cooperation movement? Now, Gandhiji realized that we can easily get our independence, right? We will be able to get our freedom only if we don't cooperate. It's a very simple word, right? Everyone, I'm sure we all are aware about the word cooperation. We cooperate, right? Your teacher will say, everyone cooperate with me. Yes, we do that, right? So, what is the meaning of non-cooperation over here? Not cooperating, so Gandhiji said that. Britishers can leave our country and we can gain, gain our independence if we don't cooperate with them, right? Because we are the one who are making sure, yes, we are making sure that we are the one who are giving us, we are, we are the one who are actually helping the Britishers in different, different segments. So, what he did, he said that we will not cooperate. He explained that the Britisher rule was established in India with the cooperation of Indians only. And they have survived because of the cooperation. So, he had this vision in his mind and he mentioned that in his very famous book, Hind Swaraj, complete independence, right? So what he did, he proposed that to withdraw the cooperation and based upon his books, learning of course and later of course he only said that let's have the non-cooperation movement. Clear? Yes, the book was written long back but of course from the book he got an idea that we should have it. Clear everyone? Are we clear? Yes, are we clear with this? Okay, yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, one minute everyone. Just checking one thing. Okay, Charlie. Now, what we saw, we'll be discussing in two different parts. We'll discuss about the roadmap proposed by the Gandhiji, launch of the movement and how did the different social groups reacted to it. Yes, 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 feels good about it. Okay, Charlie everyone. Here we go. So, of course, the road map proposed by Gandhiji. Gandhiji said to the janta, bhai or behno, what you should do? You should boycott all the goods. But before the goods, what he said? Give away the titles that the Britishers have awarded you. We have sir, right? Sir, sir's title, enlightened title, right? All of these big titles that were kind of given as a reward by the British government at that particular time to the Indians, Gandhiji said that, please, wapas kar do. Ye sab title fancy fancy hai, kisi kaam ke nahi hai. Give them back and make them realize that you don't need such title. That happened. Then, of course, Gandhiji asked the people to boycott the offices like the civil services, army, court, schools. He appealed to the students, don't go to the schools and the colleges, right? Because... They were definitely the Britishers set up schools and institutions. So, of course, we saw that there was a boycott of all the Britishers' good, right? Foreign goods, clothes, etc. And apart from that, people left their jobs also. Boycott means bahishkar kar dena, princess. 
by boycott means for example i will say that i will not be using this particular pen now i boycott the use of this pen intention wise yes very good okay and then of course they launch a full circle full civil civil disobedient campaign in a case of the government under the repression so of course this came later part this is not the same movement everyone we will be discussing about the civil disobedient movement later but this is not that particular movement clear everyone are we clear so in 1920 right in 1920 what we saw we saw that gandhi ji along with the shaukat ali brothers went to different parts of the country and gathered the support people were not aware about this information us time pe we don't have the shots we don't have the whatsapps we don't have the news is also even though we have the newspaper it take ages to reach so what happened in 1920 gandhi ji along with the shaukat ali brothers went to different places spreading the awareness about this particular movement the what we saw over here is a very important thing everyone please do pay attention very good very good sakshi yes nagpur may december yes absolutely correct okay right now what we saw at that particular time only there was the council election right so britishers just to make sure that we are kind of you know a little bit suppressed they said that you know what you can all participate in council election we will give you some power and you will be happy with it so what happened that in this council election gandhi said that please do not participate okay please do not participate in the council election nobody did right various parties were there they thought that if we participate we'll be able to control the political side of our country right we'll be able to contribute but gandhi ji said no to it only one party this party is the justice party of madras everyone remember this name right so we have the justice party of madras right they were the exception over here and this particular party right had the people which have faced severe kind of reactions from the brahmins from the upper caste so justice party who don't have any brahmin member in them they thought it's a right time for them to have the political control and that is a reason they participated in the council election everyone are we clear it can be asked for two marks question clear yes good so this is the exception that we have only justice party of madras actually parts participated in the council election okay now we'll see more further the launch of the sessions of course right what happened the, in the congress session of december 1920 in nagpur the non cooperation movement was adopted and its aim was to have the swaraj the self rule and in january 1921 officially it got started everyone are we clear a congress was didn't participated we will see that congress will be doing the will be participating in the election later not now samajh mein aaya sabko all of you this is very see everyone please don't think this as a you know, very boring subject right this focus over here yes it is there in the mention it is there it is there yes yes the justice party of madras participated it just mentioned there clear okay very very good chaliye so in january 2021 everyone we saw the we saw that the non cooperation khilafat movement got ahead finally begin yes it is it is arohi madras of madras clear okay hello samir okay very good So everyone, are we clear about this all? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Very good. चलिए. Now let's talk about this, everyone. What did the different social groups have the idea about the non-cooperation movement? And this, everyone, is a very important topic. I want all of you to pay attention over here now. All of you clear? everyone clear yes now i want all of you to look over here on the screen okay 
so we started with we started with the non cooperation movement ka right we talked about that how it got the you know how it it spread throughout the country and now we saw the beginning of the non cooperation movement but do you feel that non cooperation movement was same for everyone think about it everyone for example let's suppose if i'll tell you that you know what everyone i will give you a chance to have a science day right i'll specifically specifically say we could have any day based upon the subjects i'm sure that all of you will pick a different subject probably some of you will pick science sst maths hindi english right the vision the feel of the idea will be different from everyone yes so the similarly the non cooperation movement was different for different set of people now this everyone can come as one question can come in four different parts also every topic is a five marks or a three marks question so everyone please pay attention now first we'll be discussing about that how the non cooperation movement impacted or how the non cooperation movement was happening in the towns in the city everyone so city ka is very simple it's such a simple thing city is what was happening the people actually were listening to gandhi ji they left their schools right right they left their schools they left their uh, colleges they left their jobs so it has middle class people and all of these people was all of these people listen right they were listening to what gandhi ji was saying at that particular time and they left their jobs exception of course we just talk about we have the justice party of madras who participated in the election right and no other parties were participating at that particular time then what happened everyone what did they do right so they boycotted all the foreign goods they left their jobs they gave they gave them the titles also what was the progress and how they were supporting the non cooperation movement if they are not buying the foreign goods they are actually buying the indian goods the indian handloom goods right right they are boycotting and they are reducing the import of the foreign duties foreign goods also now how it ended of course what do you think how it ended everyone liquor shops were also picked picketed right that means that there's a barricade people will be standing in front of the shop so that nobody can enter okay yes very good so we saw all of this was happening but eventually with the time we saw that the movement got slow down because khadi was very much expensive right i'm sure you know that khadi is expensive so people could not afford khadi right and of course and when they left when they left their schools and in their jobs the students don't have any other institute to go and learn so eventually they also go they also went back to their schools eventually the other people like lawyers civil civil servants also went back to their work because everyone needs money to run their family so what we saw this non cooperation movement in the towns it started with a very good zeal who who yes yes we will support but eventually what happened due to the various circumstances we saw the ending was very sad everyone are we clear clear up sabko clear clear everyone quick thumbs up i know thoda sa session bada everyone we just need one more we are almost half way through i'm very proud of all of you bachche yes good hearts big hearts small hearts all the hearts for you yes chaliye now let's talk about what was happening in the country side now this is interesting everyone okay now we'll be discussing about what was happening in the country side gaon mein kya chal raha tha now we'll be discussing about avad a case study hai choti si case study ek jagah ki theek hai ab avad is there in the uttar pradesh and we saw something happening over there also what happened over there everyone so here we have a rebel right we saw the rebel was happening by the peasants right rebel matlab rebellious is basically withdraw chal raha hai right withdraw hum nahi manenge kisi ki baat right rebel chal raha hai led by peasant uh, sorry led by led by which led by baba ramachandran and of course who were there with him the peasants the farmers theek hai 
जो फार्मर्स थे ना जो फार्मर्स थे वो किसको सपोर्ट कर रहे थे बाबा रामचंद्रन को और रेबल कहते विद्रोह चल रहा था किसके खिलाफ दे वर एक्चुअली नॉट अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिशर्स दे वर एक्चुअली अगेंस्ट द लैंड लॉज एंड दी तालुकदार आई एम श्योर ऐसा होता होगा विद यू ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव दिस पर्सन राइट ही इज अ गुड पर्सन ओके ही इज नॉट दैट गुड पर्सन राइट ओके लेट सपोज ही इज अ वेरी गुड पर्सन एंड राइट दिस इज योर फ्रेंड एंड दिस इज यू सो योर फ्रेंड सेज दैट कि भाई ये जो बंदा है ना ये अच्छा बंदा नहीं है इसने मुझसे अच्छे से बात नहीं करी यू ऑल्सो डोंट टॉक टू हिम डू यू थिंक यूल बी एबल टू डू दैट टेल मी येस एफ एनी एक्स वाई जेड पर्सन कम्स एंड टॉक टू यू एंड सेज दैट हेलो रेखा प्लीज डोंट स्पैम आई विल टेल यू हु आर दी तालुकदार राइट जमींदार बेसिकली we will not do that if anyone if anyone is coming and saying you know you don't talk to this person you will not just stop talking right you will try to understand that okay i don't have a personal uh, issue with that person so why should i not talk similarly what was happening at that particular time in avard was that they were not, they don't have any much issues with the britishers because they were not involved directly but the farmers the poor farmers right who were working on the farm of these big landlords and zamindar who were zamindar so they used to have this place now they will be asking these people to work for for them right grow crops and they will treat these peasants and the farmers as less than a beggar and equal to a servant right they will not there give they will not give them money on time their job is always on rest they can be easily get in beaten up by these people and they will ask for the taxes also yes kishu please write your doubt clear everyone so the peas and the farmer were really very afraid of these people landlords and the talukdar they don't have any issue with the britishers britishers are not there in the picture for them because britishers are controlling at a big level and at this level we just these farmers are struggling with the landlords and talukdars so what they did what they did they actually supported the baba ramachandran and of course we have a separate movement which is going on what was the progress right so baba ramachandran very important everyone baba ramachandra right who he was he was a indexed labor he was been taken to fuji as a bonded labor so who were the bonded labor they were taken to different places all across the world where we have the colonies of the britishers and they will work there right they will work as a servant they will work as a farmer there and eventually if the bond is over they'll come back okay very good so when he came to the country he knew that things are not good for the farmers so he was supporting the farmers now what he did he did that he said that we have a small request we want reduction in the revenue we want to abolish of the begar begar is free work For example, if I if I say that you know this place is there, you come and work over here, but I'll not give you the money. That is begar. Everyone, are we clear? Are we clear? Yes, I'll give you two minutes break after this particular topic. Picketed means are in to block the shops. Okay, clear all of you. Very good, right? So begar means over here the word begar. Help us to understand that no free work. if the peop if the person is working they should they should give you we should be the, the landlord should be able to give the money to the people okay then social boycott of the landlord salukdar and the merchant attack in the 1921 so what we saw what we saw in avard everyone please pay attention everyone all of you please do pay attention i'm explaining it again all of you right so of course who were suffering over here everyone the farmers can i write like this farmers were suffering yes or no yes farmers were suffering yes yes begar means those people who are working but they are not getting any money they are working without the payment okay peasants were suffering over here and peasants joined the non cooperation movement which was led by baba baba ram chandra right clear what he did now there were few demands that he raised just along with the people first 
abolish of beggar system no free work will be done by the people right no work no free work will be done clear yes okay sorry for that yeah thank you for correcting this yeah okay pieces i'm just writing over here so we saw that uh, beggar abolishment of the beggar system right reduction in revenue kind of taxes right they, they have to be have to be reduce the taxes also and of course they were not very happy with the landlords and the talukdars clear everyone are we clear yes yes bharat okay chali so this was a condition later part of course we saw that they'll become very violent so let's see over here everyone i am now revising all of you focus over here and after that we will take a break jaldi se okay in avadh everyone in avadh we know that baba ram chandra was there he was a sanyasi he uh, he was a indexed labor and he came from fiji these lines are from your textbook you can take a screenshot right yeah it's there in your textbook also but remember that we have to study each and everything right they started the movement against the talukdar and the landlords who demanded high taxes of the revenue from the peasants peasants had to do beggar and do work at the landlord without any payment this is very important word yes talukdars yes as tenants right the people who are working there have no security of the work also if the landlord feels that this person is not working correctly or if he is trying to rebel they will ask him to go so there is no security of the work this is very important no right over the lease land also right that is also sad thing the peasant demanded the reduction of the revenue abolish of the beggar and the social boycott of the oppressive landlord there was lot of bhed bhav which used to happen right lot of discrimination that used to happen between the landlords and the peasants so they want that to be removed also okay and in many places in avadh right we saw nai dobi band what is the meaning of nai dobi band so that particular time nai were the people who uh, were addressed the people who used to cut the hairs right and dobi were the people who used to help in the laundry so what these people did they said that we will not be doing this job for you will not be cutting your hair and will not be doing the laundry also so this nai dhobi band was organized by various panchayat and this actually helped the people to spread out their message everyone are we clear rahul thank you for helping your friends out here cutie pie it's a contracted labor bonded labor yes okay <clears throat> clear everyone clear ha huh, this line if you are asking that they can have for example if if for example if i have this piece of chotu so piece of land right and if I, if i want to buy it i'll not be able to buy because i have i don't have the security of my job clear so of course i'll not be able to take the land on lease also agar for example if i'm taking this land on the lease it means that i'll be getting the money and so that i can pay it to the other person but if i buy this land and then if i have no job what will happen i'll be in a very sad situation i have to pay to the other person right to the land the lease i have to pay for the land also right and i have to pay so that is a very different situation scenario then what happened later in 1920 right in june uh, jawaharlal nehru ji was having a tour all around the country and he visited avadh and he talked about he talked to the different people to understand the situation unhone ja ke baat cheet kari samajhne ki koshish kari what is happening and by october we have the formation of right avadh kisan sabha right and it was headed by the jawaharlal nehru and baba ram chandra and few others and within few months we have the 300 branches in across the region so of course this movement picked up really very fast so what happened everyone was like yes we will support the non cooperation movement right we will support the non cooperation movement but unfortunately what happened later was that there was a involvement of the violence and that is a reason the congress was not happy with the movement that is happening everyone are we clear yes all of you are we clear mj cannot talk about the cheese in the class right okay 
are we clear everyone so what we saw we saw that the non uh, the peasants gone a little bit off the track and we saw non -voil uh, sorry violence happening which was definitely against the the non cooperation movement and gandhi ji's vision so what we saw in the 1921 right in the 1921 the farmers and the peasants actually attacked the houses of talukdar landlords right and they looted the goods right they looted the bazaar and the grains all together and the local leader told that the peasants right the local leader was telling it to the peasants that you know gandhi ji has declared that no taxes will be paid were to be paid and land was to be distributed among poor so can you imagine everyone gandhi ji was thinking that all the people will come together and will have a very simple non violence movement but what was happening now people for people actually took the advantage and they thought we can use this movement for our own benefits so similar thing happened in the avadh so everyone this is really important okay what was happening in avadh it's important it's very important very important uh, you know very important answer also from the exam point of view clear all of you are clear with this quick thumbs up everyone quick thumbs up very good clear all of you now we'll take a small break of 5 minutes we'll come back right we'll come back or let's or do you want to take a break at 8:30 we'll finish the non cooperation movement right we'll finish the non cooperation movement we have two more case study chhotu sa jaldi se batao do you want a break now or should we finish the non cooperation movement and then take a break i can see thumbs up so i mean that we can continue chalo we'll continue this and we'll take the break After this, okay, eight thirty we finish. करते हैं, चलिए. So now we will be discussing about the another place, which is which was there in the Andhra Pradesh, and I'm sure you have all have seen the movie also. We have the Oscars for this, right? Yes. So we have the rebel, which was happening in the countryside, right? And we have it in the Godam Hills, Godam Hills, okay? Now which is there in the Andhra Pradesh. Now the people over there were the tribal people, right? And they had lot of restrictions by the Britishers. They cannot go into the forest and collect the, you know, collect the items. Their cattle cannot go there and graze. They were so much under the pressure, and Britishers were forcing them to actually help the Britishers in making the road. I'll ask, I'll answer your question, Lakshmi, after some time, right? So what had happened because of all of this? We saw that. people were a little bit not so good about the britishers right they were not very uh, they were not very convinced with the idea that british are doing good for them and during the non cooperation movement what had happened everyone was supporting gandhi ji and of course we saw we have a very important leader elori sitaraman raju right sitaram raju who was a very prominent and a very important leader at that particular time who took the charge of this particular movement very good so let's quickly see everyone so of course this is happening in the andhra pradesh right and of course we saw various incident happening right we have the guerrilla movement happening across in 1920s now why the people were a little bit aggressive to the government because they have put a rules and regulation that they have closed the forest first of all they are preventing people to go there and collect the grains cattle are not allowed to graze and they cannot collect the fruits in the fuel wood which is definitely it's there for the people only but of course there was a lot of rules over there right but not only their livelihood was affected but of course they felt that their traditional rights were also been denied because they are tribal people they were living there right they were living in the forest they feel that forest is their home so there was a clash over there and because of it we saw that they actually took the a little bit violent side later so when the government started forcing them to contribute in making to the roads building right the hill people revolted and at that particular time we saw the national cooperation non cooperation movement happening so we have alari sitaram raju he was a leader of the movement and he said that he was a very firm believer of gandhi ji's non cooperation movement he said that we should be contributing to it he asked the people to you know let go of the liquor right where khadi give up the drinking etc 
But at the same time, we saw that there was a violence involved, right? It was, it was not completely non-violence. Of course, they have attacked the police station. They had tried to attack the British official also. And when all of this was happening, unfortunately, Raju got captured and it was, he was executed in the year 1924. But this was not aligned to the non-cooperation movement and Gandhiji has a vision of. Everyone, are we clear? Everyone, are we clear? Right? So, we will remember this as a story. We will remember this as a story, what had happened. Now, again, it's a very individual question that can be asked in the examination. So, please, Dhyan rakhenge. Khadi was definitely, yes, Khadi was definitely costly. That's why the Britishers cannot afford it. Okay. Sorry, not Britishers, Indians. The poor people in India at that particular time could not afford it. Yes. The last part, everyone, the chotus are part that we have, right? Then after, after this, our non-cooperation movement is over, which is the Swaraj in the plantation. So we have our planters, you know, plantation workers who are working in different parts of the country, especially if you talk about the workers in Assam, right? They have been taken from their home. Unfortunately, many of them came with their own will to earn some money, right, in Assam. And they were working in tea plantation, the plantation that was happening over there. But unfortunately, what would happen is once they are here, at the plantation center, right? What happened? They cannot move back to their own village, right? So, they thought that the meaning for them, for the non-cooperation movement was that they can get their freedom back, right? They can easily move back. They can move in and out of the plantation. Jab man kar jayenge, jab man kar rahenge, and they can actually retain the link with their villages. They can go back to their villages also. So, for them, Non-cooperation movement me meant that if they support this movement, they'll be able to go back to their home. They'll be able to have the freedom of moving in and out of the their particular closed area. Everyone, are we clear? All of you, are we clear? Yes, very good. So, we have this law, everyone, a two marks question over here. There was a law which was Inland Immigration act in 1859 it came according to this plantation worker were not allowed to leave that premises without the permission right thousands of the workers left at that particular time during the non-cooperation movement just to support gandhiji they heard that gandhiji will be the hind raj is coming right our country will be free we'll have gandhi raj so they were kind of unaware about the situation. They didn't have the clarity about the movement and why it is happening and what is the intention of it. They left their places. They, they actually fleed. They ran from these plantations, right? And unfortunately, they got caught by various the officials and the governments. And of course, they were beaten brutally. And of course, few of them came back. Everyone, are we clear? Yes, they were, no, they were not. They didn't get a chance to reach to their destination everyone are we clear with this yes they never reached their destination yes so ma'am was what the result of it so there was no result of it aquarius right for this particular movement that is the information which was given i'm sure few of them definitely came back few of them reached their places but if you look at a very larger prospective point still people were working in the plantation right they did not get the freedom that they were looking for everyone are we clear yes they never reached their destination because they were caught in between all of you are we clear with it are we clear with it okay then of course what we saw everywhere throughout the country we saw the cases of violence appearing and the worst that happened that actually made Gandhiji call off the non-cooperation movement was the incident that happened in the Chora Chori. Right? Chora Chori in the year 1922. Whatever happened, people were protesting and of course it became a little bit more violent and people attacked the police station. Unfortunately, various people lost their life and because of this particular incident, Gandhiji called off the movement. Clear? Everyone clear? All of you give me a quick thumbs up. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, 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 got it, yes. Chori Chora. Okay. Yes, yes, I agree. Dhanishu, I absolutely agree. The videos are amazing. So everyone, now we'll take a quick break. I'll just stop for some time. If you have any doubts, please ask me. Once we are back, we will uh, we will move from this topic to the next topic. Jaldi, if you have any doubts, please do ask me. No on cooperation movement, 1921 to 1922. Only one year. Such a small span, right? Clear? Uh, shiny, in between, I'm sharing the important questions. Don't worry, we will have the important question session also. Yes. So the incident was that, you know, people got, uh, lot the, there were a lot of violence involved and a lot of uh, British policemen got killed in that particular incident. And that is the reason Gandhiji called off the movement. Chalye, yes. Okay, no, okay, no doubt, everything is clear. So everyone, now there's a break. We'll meet at class at 8.35. So it's a break time everyone. Break time. I'll answer your doubt when I'm back. And just quickly go and come back. Have water. And we'll meet in just 4 minutes. Yes, everyone, go and have a break.
Yes, everyone. Yes, the break is over. Welcome back to the class, everyone. Chali. So till now we have discussed about the non-cooperation movement. We do have the map from this particular chapter. Bilkul hai, we have the map. And from this chapter, the maps usually come, matlab, two marks. In your history, actually you have the maps from this chapter only two marks. Ke. And that is only the where we have the uh, National Congress ka session. Congress session jaha ja pe hai, that usually comes. Okay. So everyone, are we ready? All of you, are you ready? Right? Now, let me just quickly take you through this. We have so many slides. Look at it, everyone. We have so much planned for you. Yes. Uh, give me a moment. Yes. So here, everyone. Uh, yes. Here we have a quick, quick summary. Everyone, quickly. Chalye. Whatever we have studied till now, let's quickly revise and then we'll move ahead. Jaldi se. Right? What we saw, we, we discussed about the first world war, war uh, the first world war one happened in which year, the impact of it, how it affected the situation of a country economically. Then the ar arrival of Gandhi ji in the year 1915, the initial satyagraha at three different places at Champaran, then we have Kheda and Ahmedabad. Right? And in which year we have in 1917, 1917 and 1918. Okay? Initial Satyagraha movement. After that, we saw, yeah, over, the, over here we have. Okay. Then, of course, the nationwide Satyagraha happened, launched by Gandhi ji in which, uh, in which year? 1919 and on which date? 6th April. So, this is also very important. And it was against the Rawlitz Act, right? And according to this act, the Britishers or the government has the power to arrest anyone, right? As if they are a freedom fighter or a, you know, Satyagrahi. They can arrest anyone and put them behind the bars without any trial, without any, without taking these people to the court, okay? Then, Gandhiji called off the non-violent protest later because of course, a lot of uh, the things went a little bit haywire, right? Then workers were there on the strike, rally happened. Then martial law was imposed by General Dyer and Amritsar. And on 13th April, right, we saw the Jallianwala Bagh incident happening. Yes, okay. After that, everyone, we discussed about that Gandhiji supported the Khilafat movement because he saw that it's a good chance for Hindus and Muslim community to come together and fight for the country. Right? So that is the reason he convinced the leaders and the Khilafat movement also joined the non-cooperation movement. The non-cooperation movement was launched in the India. And of course, we have different, different set of people that we have talked about how it affected different people. Right? So here, everyone, you can take the screenshot of it. The launch, of course, the movement launch over here and these are the things. Take a screenshot, everyone, for this. Take a screenshot. We will have the full chapter. We are still not done. It's just the half chapter. Ankit Appa, you are late to the class. We are just revising the first part. Okay? So we talked about what happened in towns, countryside and the plantation. Now everyone with this, let's quickly move back to our own, right, to our learning and we are talking about the non-cooperation movement. Sorry, I'll just go back over here. Okay? Chalye. Chalye. Now everyone, here we go. The nationalism in India ka second most important e event that happened, right? We have civil disobedient movement. Now what is the important learning objective from this particular part of the chapter? The Dandi March is definitely one of the important highlights that is very important from the exam point of view. We'll be discussing about it and what happened after it. We'll be discussing about the participation of different social groups in civil disobedient movement and of course the sense of the collective belonging. So let's talk about it everyone. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Really, thank you so much Arpit. Yes. Last May Hindi I will study, right? At the end I will tell you the whole story of this chapter in Hindi but you have to wait. Okay? Chalye. Yes Arpit, thank you so much. Is it possible to send the PDF not in the description box but on the telegram? Chalye. 
Yes. Okay. Now everyone will discuss about the civil disobedient movement or what was the aftermath of the non-cooperation movement. Jaldi say everyone. Let's just focus now. Let me just remove this watch. <laughs> yes. Okay. Chalye. I am ready. I hope that all of you are ready. Yes. Chalye. So what we saw over here after the non-cooperation movement got called off right because of the Chauri Chaura incident right uh, we saw that there were other things which were happening around it now people got the realization that something is not right over here but what we can do so let's see we saw from 1922 to 1929 we saw various things happening right and let's talk about that first thing was the formation of the Swaraj party so after the withdrawal of the non-cooperation movement in February 20, 1922, we saw the important events happening till 1930 and we have three important S. Okay, three important S. I don't know what I have missed over here. Round table, abhi aayega palak, ruk jau. We have the round table coming, please just wait for some time. Chauri Chaura, uh, Chauri Chaura was there in, very good, Arpit, in uh, Gorakhpur, which is there in the Uttar Pradesh. Chaliye. Okay, so what are the three S? Yes, we have Swaraj Party formation, Simon Commission, Boycott, and Swaraj Party. Swaraj basically Purna Swaraj ki demand. So we have three things that are happening. Let's talk about it, everyone. So we know that as in the non cooperation movement, Gandhi said that we should not be participating in elections. But some leaders of Congress were tired of this mass struggle, right? And by the end of the non-cooperation movement, they made sure to participate in the elections. In the provisional elections, everyone, they thought that we will be participating in the council election. It's a police station or a place. It's a, it's, it's, it's a city name. Okay. Clear? It's a place that is there in Gorakhpur city. Clear? Chali. Now, the two leaders which are very important over here, everyone, we have C.R. Das and Motilal Nehru. They formed the Swaraj party and they want to contest in the election, right? They were like, nah, you know what, we will, we will definitely be a part of the election so that we can take some political decision. If we are out there, we will be able to take the calls also, okay? Yes, please ask. You can write your doubt K-pop and I'll be able to pick from there. So what we saw everyone, after this, when this all was happening, the Britishers were in very much, you know, pressure. And they, just to ease out the situation, again, they did something which is not at all ha helping the Indians at that particular time, was the Simon Commission. So, Simon Commission was formed by the John Simon, of course, that is, he was a head of this Committee, that's why uh, that's what we have the Simon Commission. Okay. What they made, right? They made a commission which is talking about that we will actually look into the constitutional system of India. Right? They want to make something for India. Right? They want to help India have the constitution, but they will only be looking into it. No Indians were involved into it, right? No Indians were involved. So when it arrived to our country, we saw that it was boycotted, right? We have a very famous slogan, Simon go back, Simon go back, right? Why they're saying this? They're saying it to the person also and of course to the commission also that Simon go back. They don't want the Britishers to come and make a constitution for us, right? They don't want to come, they don't want the Britishers to come and have a constitution system for them when Indians are not involved into it. See, eventually we know that the constitution that we have in our country had a lot of contribution of Britishers, right? But the constitution at that particular time have no Indians, but eventually we have the Indians there. Situationary, AV, yes. A kind of keeping in the mind that we'll just have a you know, situation ke se, a very rough, not exactly a rough, but you know, we will be leading this cause. Clear? Yes. Everyone, are we clear? Yes, so this was the Simon Commission and of course people were definitely not happy with it. Right? And during that time also India was suffering from various great other details. In our textbook they have mentioned 
that not that India was having all of this, but internally, right, from the 1920s to 1930s, India was facing other issues also. What was the other issues, everyone? We saw the agriculture prices rising. We saw the depression, right? The global depression of the sal uh, was there, uh, right? Economical depression was there. The farm price, the agricultural prices was going ahead. And of course, later it collapsed in the 1926. So of course, people, they don't have money. Prices are increasing. Prices are falling down. The farmers are not very happy because they could not sell. Even if they have the grains, right? The value is not there. So at that particular time, India faces a lot of technical, more than technical, sorry, the economical challenges, right? So India at that particular time were not in a very good shape in terms of the economy. So at that particular time, we have the Simon Commission coming to India. Definitely it will never be welcome. Everyone clear? K-pop, uh, I'm really sorry, but I'm not able to take the ICSC classes of history as of now. But here and there, when we're taking the classes, you can come and watch for the topic which is relevant to you. Yes. Ankita, Ankita, we will try, but I'm not sure with the time and the expand that we have. Okay? Palak, bachche discuss karenge, you will be able to, you will be able to tell me what is the difference between these two. You just wait for the session to end. Okay? Dhanyashri, bachche kal ho jayega. We'll be able to upload the PDF tomorrow. Everyone, are you there with me? I will take the one shot live of first chapter, don't worry. Before your midterm examination, we'll have that. Clear? Chalye, everyone, are we clear? So three S we are talking about, right? Formation of the Swaraj party. Simon came, Simon Commission came to India. And third S was the Poorna Swaraj. Right? Poorna Swaraj. What had happened when there was a lot of rebel, lot of restriction, lot of revolt against the Simon Commission. The Lord, Viceroy Lord Irwin, he was a... Governor General at that particular time in of, 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 our, of our country, sorry. Right, what he did in 1929, he thought that he is doing something great thing for our country. He said that I will give you the status of the dominant status. What is this meaning everyone? What is the meaning of this word? Domino, what is the meaning of this? In a very simple word, if I have to put right, this means that right that your country will be under our control only but you will be able to control clear right we will we are giving you a freedom freedom but you don't have any right to freedom we will be controlling you but yeah you do whatever you want to but we will be controlling you clear so this was a very vague offer which lord irwin made right very good milan yeah it's an independent however it's not a whole independent. So that was happening. After this offer, definitely Jawaharlal Nehru, Shubhash Chandra Bose, the young leaders, right? They were not ready to accept this offer because they knew that they want Purna Swaraj, full freedom they want. So under the Jawaharlal Nehru presidency, right? What, are, what had happened? They had a Purna Swaraj session in Lahore. Clear? And they declared that on 26 January 1930, we will celebrate as our Independence Day. Everyone clear? Yes, all of you, are we clear with this? So we have this session which happened in Lahore, right? And in that particular session, Jawaharlal Nehru was the president of the party, right? And of course, he said that on 26 January 1930, we'll celebrate our independence. Clear? So three S yes, everyone, we have formation of Swaraj party, we have Simon Commission coming during that particular duration from 1920 to 1930 and of course formation of the call for the Purna Swaraj. Clear hai? Good. Now let's move to the next topic that we have. What happened in the 1930? Now everyone, Gandhiji realized that from 1922 to 1930 time has been passed. So many things have happened, right? And still we don't have the freedom. So what happened? During this 
कोर्स ऑफ ड्यूरेशन ऑफ कॉज द स्ट्रगल वॉज हैपनिंग एवरी थिंग वॉज गोइंग ऑन बट एट दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम गांधी जी रियलाइज दैट वी हैव टू टेक सम स्टेप्स नाउ सो ही रोट अ लेटर टू लॉर्ड इरविन स्टेटिंग लेवन डिमांड्स हाउ मेनी डिमांड्स एवरी वन लेवन डिमांड्स ठीक है गांधी जी ने सोचा कि मैं लॉर्ड इरविन को लेटर लिखूंगा मेरी है लेवन डिमांड्स लेवन डिमांड्स इंक्लूडेड ऑल द पीपल्स डिमांड्स के एवरी वन आर काइंड ऑफ टूगेदर सो दे हैव ही आज द डिमांड्स ऑफ टैक्स रिडक्शन अदर थिंग्स ऑल टूगेदर वन ऑफ द कॉमन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट वी हैव टू फोकस ऑफ हेयर इज अबाउट द सोल्ट लॉ राइट राइट सोल्ट लॉ गांधी जी ने बोला कि भाई सब सोल्ट तो हम सब यूज करते हैं रिच पुअर वी ऑल यूज द सोल्ट सो यू हैव टू रिवोक द टैक्सेस एंड यू हैव टू गिव अस अ परमिशन टू मेक द सोल्ट इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग इट इफ यू आर नॉट अबॉलिशिंग द सोल्ट लॉ आई डू समथिंग लॉर्ड इन लाइक हाँ क्या करेंगे राइट ही वॉज अरे वेरी इन चिल पिल मोड के क्या ही हो सकता है अभी एक तो एक मोमेंट तो राइट वी इट हैपन एंड इट विल टेक सम टाइम फॉर पीपल टू कम टूगेदर बट वॉट हैपन वेन देर वॉज अ नो रिस्पॉन्स राइट वेन देर अ नो रिस्पॉन्स गांधी जी विद इट्स सेवेंटी एट फॉलोअर्स माइक वर्क हाउ मेनी डेज एनी वन कैन टेल मी हाउ मेनी डेज ही वर्क अप्रोक्सीमेटली टू फोर्टी माइल्स फ्रॉम साबरमती आश्रम टू अ प्लेस विच देर इन गुजरात विच इज डांडी right he went there he walked and in between people were meeting him he was he was telling about the movement he was spreading the awareness and he went reached dandi right and he made the salt breaking the law right everyone yes very good yes 24 days mein ho gaya tha yes yeah math is also coming 240 miles in 24 days 10 days approximately there 10 माइल्स दे वॉक इन अ डे गुड ओके सो दैट वॉज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन फ्रॉम देयर ऑफ कॉर्स वी सॉ दी बिगिनिंग ऑफ दी सिविल डिसोबीडियंट मूवमेंट नाउ वी आर ब्रेकिंग द लॉज क्लियर चलिए सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी नाइनटीन थर्टी वॉज डिक्लेयर एज अ इंडिपेंडेंस डे हाउ एवर इट अट्रैक्टेड लेस अट्रैक्शन पीपल वर नॉट इवन अवेयर अबाउट इट राइट सो महात्मा गांधी जी अगेन स्टूड बैक एंड थिंक दैट वॉट थॉट दैट वॉट वी कैन डू एंड देन he used the salt as a symbol of the unification of the nation on 31st january 1930 again mentioned in our textbook on 31st january 1930 he wrote letter to lord irwin stating 11 demands and these demands one of the important demand was to abolish the tax law and negotiation was refused by lord irwin no answers then of course gandhi ji marched right all the points everyone remember it Gandhi ji launched civil disobedience movement on 6 April 1930 very important day Gandhi ji marched with 48 followers on 12th of March he started and ended his journey on 6th of April in Dandi which is there in Gujarat both of these places are there in Gujarat Savarmati and Dandi right they walked for approximately 240 miles right and at the end Gandhi ji spoke about the swaraj in between and he tried to unite the people all together he reached there and of course he made the salt and broke the law clear everyone suddenly i don't know why the chat is static everyone can you see and can you hear me you can hear me right there's no lag over here ha ha now yes right yeah suddenly the chat was quiet i'm i hope all of you are listening to the story i'm very proud hearts again everyone Has to each one of you. Okay, Charlie. So that was a story that actually pushed right. Oh, uh, all of this are a kind of a you know even that happened, and we are now looking at it as a story. But all of these are very important events that happened in the history, and because of that, we are free today. So this movement has a lot of importance in the history of our freedom fight. So. we have the next part which is the beginning of the civil disobedient movement let's look at it look at it everyone but when this movement started on 6th of april 1930 people do you think were happy about it or they were okay or they were sad about it matlab how was the excitement of these people 
tell me everyone in this also we'll be looking at that every different set of people right different different communities different set of people right took this in a different way yes yes aquarius right yeah hello hello everyone very good it was different from each other right again here also we saw in the non cooperation movement that everyone has their own understanding right they have own understanding of the non cooperation movement here also we will see that different people have different thinking or different feeling towards the civil disobedient movement clear yes very good so let's talk about it everyone we're talking about the rich peasants right they are the people who have good amount of land they are rich people and they are called as the party partidars partidars of gujarat partidars and of course jats of uttar pradesh ab now these people have a good amount of money they are rich people right they are rich people and they have the production of the commercial goods which are sold which are sold in the market right and they are very happy with it but due to the trade depression due to the time you know i told you right from 1920 to 1930s we saw the greater dip in the market so they saw the depression in their trade and of course their cash was not coming of course they were losing their money out so they supported the civil disobedient right disobedient movement but but again when it was not it was relaunched they lost their charm for it right their notion of the struggle was just for their own revenue everyone are we clear see trade depression what was trade depression rahul so during the time from 1920s and 1930s in our country and all around the world right all around the world we saw that trade was going down you will be learning in the upcoming chap chapter about the great depression right but what had happened throughout the world was the trade was going in a actually in a very downfall kind of state trade was not happening right money exchange rate was going down even if we have agricultural grains nobody was purchasing uh, purchasing them they were sitting there getting wasted lot of things happened and because of that they were suffering it's okay ashish i i i think that you have joined the session in midway you can go back and uh, you can watch the session again malikarjun we are discussing bachche the civil disobedience movement okay chaliye all of you are you clear up to here right we saw that how the movement started c d m what is cdm jaldi se what is cdm okay devasani the plant tissue chapter the tissue chapter is done right we have the session will will have the questions for it okay very good civil disobedient movement gandhi ji started it but of course we are talking about how different people reacted differently right so of course we are talking about the rich peasants right what they were they of course they saw that the trade was depressing their trade was depressing going down and of course cash flow disappeared they were not getting that much amount of money right so they initially initially supported it ke ha bhai when we will support we can actually reduce the revenue right they wanted to reduce the taxes on their revenue clear everyone they thought ke acha if we will support it we can say ke we don't have the money right and yeah we will ask uh, gandhi ji and other people to uh, help us in that way clear everyone all of you are we clear with this yes everyone are we clear with this this is super important very good very good right so they were like agar acha if we will support gandhi ji in this particular moment he can say to the government that oh this these people will not be giving them the taxes or the revenue right because they don't have right so of course everyone have their own hidden motive uh, intentions of it then of course let's talk about the poor peasants now 
we talked about the rich peasants and now we are talking about the poor peasants. Now, the condition of the poor peasants were very much bad. They actually were kind of in a very neutral situation. Why? The big people, right, the rich peasants are asking to refuse the, uh, the taxes that they, were give, that they were giving to the government. But what the poor peasants are asking? They are asking that we don't have money. Nobody is buying our crops, right? So what they want? They want no rent campaign. They want the civil disobedient movement, people to support them, the ministers to support them in not paying the rent to the rich people, to the landlords or to the talukdars. Just imagine everyone. It's a very, for a khichadi situation hai, right? Yaha pe hamare paas mein, uh, this is a very rough uh, understanding. Please make sure you stay with us, right? So here, of course, we have rich peasants. Okay. We have rich peasants and, of course, over here we have poor peasants. What is the demand of these people? Right? Refusal. They refuse to pay the revenue to the government. And what is their demand? Their demand is no rent. Now they are giving money to the government and these people are actually working on the land which rent they have to give to the rich people. All of you, are you clear? Yes, all of you, are, are you clear with it? So what they are saying, poor peasant are asking Congress people to please support my no rent no rent campaign. Clear everyone? Very good, very good. Very good everyone, are we clear with it? Awesome. Okay. Chali. So, again, they cultivated on the land that they have to rent it from the landlords. The reason for them, right, they were fighting for the Swaraj to stop the struggle against the rent payment they don't want to pay the rent okay they wanted unpaid rent of the landlords to be remitted what is the meaning of remitted over here cancelled they want the congress they want the people who are leading the cause that they should tell it to the landlords ki bhai, these people will not be able to give you the rent and it's cancel out please bhool jau ke aisa hua tha kuch history mein unko maaf kar do because they cannot give you the money. Clear? Yes. The Congress did not support the no rent campaign. Why did support nahi kiya tha? Now this is, some, this is something which is not new in politics. We know that rich people definitely contribute in the political parties, right? They provide them with the money. They help in influencing them. So what had happened? Congress could not support the no rent campaign. Thoroughly. They, even if they want to, right, they cannot. So, they just kept their distance. Everyone, are we clear? All of you, are you clear with this? Are you time and dekho abhi. Thoda sa time lag sakta, I know. 7 minutes more to go. Nahi ho paega 9.15 tak. A little bit more time. Everyone, are we clear with this? We will have it. Tanushri, no, got your point, but abhi, please let this focus on SST. We'll do that, bachche. Thank you for your suggestion. We'll take, we'll take it up. Clear all of you. Quick thumbs up now. Jaldi se. Are, bahut kam likes hai. Energy kahan gai aap logon ki all of you? Yes, all of you quickly. I will revise. Ek bar hum sabhi classes se padh lete kya hua. Then we will uh, revise it all of. We'll revise again. Jaldi se. All of you, please make sure you hit the like button. That's a way to keep all of us motivated. We'll be able to complete by 9.30. Yes. Okay. Chaliye. So we have discussed what had happened with the rich people, rich, uh, uh, rich peasants and the poor peasants. Now let's talk about the industrial, industrials, right? We have the industries and of course industries were owned by big famous people which has money, right? So what was the background of it? So, of course, there are very rich people. They got uh, heavily influenced by the depression. The trade was going down, right? 
and because of the civil disobedient movement they saw an opportunity that we can actually call out our rights and we can ask the government to support us okay so what happened they had two demands they were supporting the civil disobedient movement for just for two demands what was it they want the protection against the imports goods right they want the protection against the imports of foreign goods they were paying a huge amount of import duty or the taxes to the british government at that particular time they want some protection from it the tax should be reduced second thing they want a good exchange rate right they want to have a favorable exchange rate uh, exchange rate for the rupee and for the sterling right the exchange the exchange of the different currency should become a more stable everyone i can see many of you are asking such question which are not in this chapter but you thoda sa ruk jao i'll answer you extra question but not now sumit you have to wait ye aap first chapter ka pooch rahe ho clear yes very good okay so everyone are we clear with this what are the two demands important question kya do demands thi indian merchants and industrials ki everyone i hope that it's clear now the reason was that swaraj was at, was a time when the colonial restriction on business would no longer extend so what they were thinking if we have the freedom from the britishers we will not have these taxes so that that is the reason they were supporting the civil disobedient movement everyone are we clear with it clear hai sabko ye very good trade and industries would flourish without any constraint without any rules and regulations so that is the reason they were supporting the cdm very important thing which is mentioned in your textbook everyone is the formation of two important societies right they formed the indian industrial commercial congress in 1920 and of course they formed the uh, what they formed federation of the indian chambers of commerce and industry in 1927 so two important committees or the commission was formed right so that they can come together and they can discuss about their issues and their interest clear everyone take a note of this in 1920 we have the formation of indian industry i will not be able to write it over here and in 1927 we saw the formation of okay clear we have some prominent people right we have thakur das we have uh, g d birla all of these people were there clear everyone very good very good all of you are we clear yes you will have all the videos can we just focus on the class now okay then let's talk about the industrial workers right the industrial workers especially if they have mentioned a case of nagpur so they were th these people who were working in the industries they were suffering from the low wages and long working hours they were supporting but they don't have much of the participation low participation were there from the industrial working class because the industrialists right were supporting congress so of course for example if the workers who are working in the industry right these are the workers and this is cdm and the heads of this uh, of this industry supporting the cdm so of course these people will not support it because they will not listen to what these people has to say so we saw very low participation of the industrial working class in the civil disobedient movement right we saw very little of it they adopted the gandhian ideas in their own way by discarding the uh, the foreign goods by just wearing the things that they have but they could not contribute in a very larger scale because again they were suffering from low wages and long working hours we have an example in 1930 1932 we saw the railway workers and the dock workers went in a strike to support the civil disobedient movement yes everyone are we clear yes this was the important part chotu sa part is there not uh, not uh, that huge part but it's important the last part everyone is the women what was the contribution of the women in the independence and especially in the civil disobedient movement what we saw 
various women from the high caste family and women from the rich peasant family supported the movement they used to come out they used to listen to gandhi ji what they're saying right and they used to contribute right and of course they helped in the independence but they never got a chance to be present or to take participate as a you know as a leader leader per se in the congress of course they were uh, they will definitely will talk about it they will definitely support it but we never saw a female leader till the very longest time but after that of course we have leaders now clear so that is a very small paragraph which is mentioned about this so all of you are you clear everyone are you clear about this i will repeat all of this once again but abhi ke liye are you clear with it all of you now please listen to me when i am saying this again so civil disobedient movement started right by gandhi ji by gandhi ji when he broke the salt law right when he broke the salt law clear salt law was broken after the salt law was broken in 6 april 1930 we saw the formation or the initiation of cdm the civil disobedient movement in that we have four different case study first of course for the rich farmers for the rich farmers what was our situation for the rich farmer rich farmers were want they were refusing right there was a refusing to pay taxes to government right they don't want to pay the taxes to the government and that is the reason they were supporting it then of course we have poor farmer yes poor farmer said that we will not be giving rent no rent campaign right they are running their own thing they are running their no rent campaign they don't want to give the rent to the land lords because they don't have the money then we have indian businessmen slash industry owners right they were much in favor the two demands were that first they want protection from import duties and they want good foreign exchange right they want good foreign exchange in mm. terms of the money the last one that we talked about were the working class working class but not so happy they were not participating everyone are we clear then of course we talked about women they had a contribution but they they never got the position of a leader yes puna pact aayega abhi abhi aayega everyone are we clear yes or the custom duties absolutely everyone clear quick thumbs up quick jaldi se thumbs up dijiye in the chat bhai thoda josh dikhao all of you i know i know yes please please do if you have exam tomorrow everyone please leave the class you can watch this later चलिए हिस्ट्री इज रियली इजी एर टफ आपको ऐसी लगती है बिकॉज वी डोंट थिंक इन दैट वे चलिए नाउ दिस इज डन चलिए अब वी हैव द लास्ट सेकंड लास्ट टॉपिक एवरीवन विल जस्ट फिनिश इन जल्दी से खत्म करते हैं इन फाइव मिनट्स आई यू देयर विद मी टीम सेवन का एक्वेरियस तनिषा वो भी स्टार्ट हो जाएगा बच्चे विल स्टार्ट इट वी ऑलरेडी डिड द फर्स्ट पार्ट इफ यू हैव मिस प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट एश्योर मैम विल टेक अ सेशन टुमारो सुमित बिल्कुल विल डू दैट आशीष थैंक यू सो मच अभिषेक थैंक यू सो मच मजा ओके एस के प्रियंका ओके इट्स सो इजी थैंक यू चलिए 1934 में एवरीवन वी सो आरोही ओके नाउ वी वी डिडेंट सो वी डिडेंट सी आरोही 1934 आई जस्ट सो हर कमेंट वेरी गुड आरोही आशु कौशिक एस के पुष्पा और आफ्टर वाह पुष्पा सिंह इज वेरी बैक आफ्टर सो मेनी डेज इन विद सच अ which a very harsh comment i know team 7 you were there in the beginning only are class mein aapko agar nahi acha lag raha to chale jao fir kyu aaye ho aaye ho to koi na koi reason to hoga na laya boycott means bahishkar kar dena not saying no to it 
पूर्वी आज के डाउट थैंक यू एवी प्रेस प्रिंसेस बाय बाय ओके किंतु थम्स अप थम्स अप थम्स अप थामा थामा यस ओके चलिए प्लीज पूर्वी यू कैन राइट योर डाउट आई विल टेक इट अप फ्रॉम देयर एंड आई विल आंसर मूविंग अहेड एवरीवन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एंड ऑफ द सिविल डिसोबीडिएंट मूवमेंट व्हाट हैपेंड क्या हुआ वी वी हमें वी नो द हिस्ट्री राइट वी नो द हिस्ट्री व्हाट हैपेंड राइट this also ended on not in a very good note right and we saw the some of the sad ending of this particular movement so let's see what happened so everyone what we saw right the colonial government the britishers right got really very aggressive they like you know what now these indians are not listening to us will have more strict rules and regulation they started arresting the various congress leaders so they started arresting lot of people Abdul Ghaffar Khan right he was arrested in Pakistan now Pakistan of course it was there initially in the Punjab right region and of course Satyagrahi you know attacked the various uh, buildings in Sholapur and eventually Gandhi ji realized that nothing is working again we should call it out right again he called the movement off clear everyone all of you are we clear with this so we saw that the end was every time when the movement ended it just because of the violence that the people were doing and the gandhi ji has to call back the movement that happened after this of course we saw two very important things happening what we saw after the arrest right after the arrest of abdur ghafur khan people started demonstr you know uh, going a little bit violent in the street of the peshawar right and of course government responded with various brutal policies they were arresting lot of people and of course there was a mass arrest of the various people right in response gandhi ji and lord irwin entered into a very important pact which is signed in the history which is gandhi irwin pact on 5th march 1931 right so miss in midst of all of this we saw a pact signed between gandhi ji and irwin initially irwin was not ready to listen but what is happening now after the huge violence after the impact of the civil disobedient movement on the british government both gandhi ji and irwin came together they realized that now we have now the movement have been called off we can sit together and have a discussion and they signed a pact which is on 5th of march 1931 what was the pact and what was it all about the pact right was that gandhi ji will be going to the second round table conference in london right and the government will release all the political prisoner on these two conditions right on these two conditions gandhi ji and irwin signed the pact okay gandhi ji went to london for the conference but of course negos the negotiation was not in the favor right then now the negotiation was not in the favor of the gandhi ji and of course the negotiation broke down and he came back with empty handed unfortunately india at that particular time and the second round table conference did not have any great news so when he came back to the country he relaunched the session right he is like you know what they promised us something and we didn't have we have not received so what we'll do we'll relaunch the session they started the movement again but again it got repressed it didn't go well right it didn't go well as planned in midst of all of that the british government at that time declared congress illegal ke illegal hai and jawaharlal nehru and abdul ghaffar khan was sent again to the jail abdul ghaffar khan again was sent to the jail everyone are we clear oh do we have ashwara ma'am here yes seems like yes everyone please make sure you do that Yes definitely ma'am and I am there ma'am and I are there for each other support Yes Yeah he didn't go because he was not invited Relaunch matlab dobara se again okay So what we saw everyone we saw it got relaunched again but it was not received very well What are the reasons behind it we'll discuss but here here everyone what we saw that during this particular movement that was happening right we saw a very important thing which is happening in the history india mein that particular time there were lots of you know stereotypes there were a lot of discrimination and dalit right dalit people faced this much 
they have faced a lot in the past. So the Congress always had ignored the Dalit at that particular till that particular time, right? And Gandhi ji realized that we cannot, right? That we cannot go ahead when we'll never get the independence if we are not united and we have to take each and every one together. So what he did, he started talking about the uh, Dalit and of course he changed and he started changed their instead of calling them Dalit, he started calling them as the Harijans and this is a very good beginning everyone that we have in the history. Gandhi ji who people saw him as a national leader when he was supporting the Harijans right and of course he worked for the better condition for them and he actually tried to uplift them and their status in the country and that actually helped. So what happened? We saw that they got involved in the political parties later, right? Clear everyone? Yes. Kaushik, Purvi, Bache, Abhi, Pura chapter padhengi, then and we will be able to tell you the difference, right? Please do listen to me and we will have it. Yes. What are the reasons behind it everyone that the reason was why the Dalits never participated with their full heart into the civil disobedient movement was that first of course the Congress never gave them the importance so they felt that they are ignoring right and the Harijans right wanted a different political party so that they can have their own solutions for it everyone are we clear up to here yes very good so what happened during all of this time, right? We have a very famous leader, I'm sure all of you are aware about it. We have B.R. Ambedkar ji. Right? So, Ambedkar ji played a very important role, right? He is also known as the father of the constitution and he played a very important role in uplifting the Harijans, right? So, of course, he was an active member and he... Uh, he made sure that these people are getting their rights. So, of course, he went with uh, Mahatma Gandhi ji, right? And they had a clash on the second round table conference. He said that we want a separate political party where we will be able to participate. And Britisher said, okay. But Gandhi ji felt that if we will have a separate uh, elections or if we have a separate altogether committees in this elections for them, we will not be able to have the freedom. So, that's why Gandhi ji sat on a fast and eventually B.R. Ambedkar said yes to the, yes to Gandhi ji and he said that okay fine, we'll have elections only in a one particular body, clear everyone and that's was signed in the Pune Pact. I, initially many of you were asking about it and here we have. So what we saw, we saw that Dalit asked for the reserve seat in the education, education institution, in the elections, in the council also. And the Pune Pact was signed between Ambedkar and the Gandhi ji. And the Harijas of the Dalit got the reserve seat in the Provisional Legislative uh, Council Assembly uh, elections based upon the general election. So they can, they can easily participate in the elections and all the votings will be done. Clear everyone? Everyone are we clear? Yes? All of you give me a quick thumbs up. It's a very small part. Chhota sa part of story hai. Right? So what happened? We'll, we are discussing about ki what is the end or why there are a lot of limitation of the civil disobedient movement. Civil disobedient movement ke chalne mein bohat sari reasons hai. Na chalne mein. Civil disobedient movement was not successful because of so many reasons. One of them, one of the important reason is that the Dalit, the word that we are using Dalit was there at the Back now we call it them the now we use a word which is the scheduled caste, right? Or of course we should use a word harijans, right? So what happened at that particular time? They never had a trust on the Congress because Congress always ignored them in the history. So they wanted their separate election committee. Basically, they want to have a separate political party. They want to have their separate elections. But Gandhi ji convinced them, convinced Dr. B. R. Ambedkar to come and have a common elections. Clear everyone? Clear? Irwin Pact, no, it was it occurred before that. Round table conference was a conference where people will just sit and discuss about the important decision. Nobody is at the center, but everyone will have their opinion to say things. This is very interesting. So everyone, I'm sure you would have seen a dining table, right? Usually in a rectangular dining table, 
we have a head sitting here right either of one of the place you will see a very special chair and you know that the head of the family will be sitting there yes or no i'm sure you would have seen this right in the rectangular table there will be a head there will be a head but in the round table right everyone is equal that is a reason it is called as round table conference okay okay so pune pact was signed in the year 1932 okay chaliye everyone are we clear with this okay now let's talk about very important part what was the other limitation unfortunately civil dis civil disobedient movement got didn't got the support from the muslim political association or the from the muslim parties also again for the same reason they felt that the congress never gave the attention to the muslims right they also felt that they sorry <coughs> they kind of ignored so they never supported it right if at that particular time they if the congress would have supported and have listened to these people we could have seen the contribution of muslim political association there but of course at that particular time there was not much support we saw that there were a lot of differences that we have in these two communities and uh, they were all related to the elections so what had happened that they want they also wanted the equal number of seats in the council but of course let's see what happened later so the muslim league was ready to give up the demands they said that ke ha theek hai don't give us a separate electorate uh, electorate in muslims right we don't want a separate election right we don't want a separate election clear clear everyone we don't want a separate election but give us a reserved seat in the central assembly and representation of the portion of the population in west bengal and in the punjab so they want to represent in the region where of course they feel that they have the population in major which is there in bengal and the punjab and they said that we don't want a separate election but give us a reserved seat clear everyone yes so what is the reason behind of all of this first of course congress was not paying attention to what the muslim political parties have to say they were not providing the enough contributions uh to what they have to say also so in in this particular case a uh, muslim political association felt that they have been not treated equally and fairly right they asked for the separate election they said that fine we don't need it we want a reserve seat in the assembly clear everyone yes clear everyone so what we saw later that uh, in the various meetings unfortunately the both the parties could not come on a you know on a one plain single uh, call okay fine we will they didn't both of these parties right congress party that particular time and various muslim political association parties could not come on term on a same term and eventually we saw the fall, fall out of these parties clear yes okay there was a fear amongst the muslim leaders is that that you know the status of the minority could be get hampered if they don't have the political parties uh, po political influence everyone are we clear yes quick thing everyone quick thing so two important topics we have just discussed what are the limitations what are the limitations of the civil disobedient movement why the civil disobedient movement when relaunched again right relaunched again not had that success okay chaliye last topic everyone last topic a sense of collective belongingness i'll not spend much time over here is the easiest topic from this particular chapter so till now what we saw people are struggling people are doing their part but of course too we saw that in the last chapter right the nationalism uh, rise in europe that how the art the songs the language the culture was used to unite people similarly in our country also we the people started that uh, started with a feeling that we should look for something together right so what we saw we saw the picturization of uh, bharatma we saw the formation of the songs we saw the formation of the folk stories saw the formation made making of the indian flag the tricolor flag that we have 
all of these things are bringing our people together right so this is what we have in this particular topic everyone see over here we have the image of the uh bharat mata right the first image was created by the bucking uh bankim uh chandra chatur chatur there right i'm writing over here everyone okay let me just put it over here it's the name is given in the textbook so please make sure you remember it he was the first person to make the first image of bharat mata clear yes and in 70 in 1870 he wrote the very famous song bande mataram okay he wrote the song also which is used across we all nowadays also we hear you know we have the song and we it's a very important song for all of us as an indian right so he wrote this song later of course we have this image of bharat mata which was made by abindra right nath tagore he is the one who made this image right the printed image that we have he painted this okay in this particular image the bharat mata right it's it's very peace and it has very lot of calmness into it and this actually identify with the indian culture that we have so we have the image of the bharat mata okay and this was being circulated and everyone started relating to it more clear everyone yes then of course we saw the formation of the folk tales folk songs around our indian history right people uh rediscovered their strength their national identity uh rabindra tagore right and we have natesh shastri in tamil nadu wrote various tales uh to uplift the morale of the indians right as the indians were under the rule of the britishers for a longest time they lost their identity they were not aware that who are we we have such a rich culture right we have such an amazing and rich history so with the help of these folk tales stories people are kind of coming together there was these all activities were done to unite people together among that we have this very famous flag everyone we have the eight can you see the eight lotus different provision of our country at that particular time british india we have the moon we have the sun that represents the hindu and the muslims the tricolor flag right and it was used in various swadeshi movement that was happening in bengal so icons and symbols again become a chance for people to relate to it and in during that time only in 1921 right we know that gandhi ji made a flag designers were arch flag with a charkha in between right that happened apart from that we have seen that you know people came together they talked about their past they came they become aware about their past and they have the pride in their past okay and that's how the people came together for a free nation everyone are we clear i know the last part is a little bit it's not a little bit it's very easy so that's why we didn't pay uh, we, i didn't spend much time over here but i have covered up all important points yes now we want the last final revision so we are done with the whole chapter this flag was introduced by who you can write the answer in the comment section i mentioned it right chaliye everyone pat on our back pat on our back thank you for staying such for such a long time we'll just end our session in 5 minutes you can take the screenshot everyone i'll just move aside right i will move aside this whole summary of the chapter everyone whole summary of the chapter started with the world war first right how the world war first uh, have affected our country's economical and the political situation then we talked about the arrival of the gandhi ji introduction of the satyagraha these three places are super important right where gandhi ji went and did the initial satyagraha satyagraha for the people then we had the introduction of the rolets act right rolets act in 19 19 and of course against that the nation wide satyagraha happened then gandhi ji called off the non violent protest workers went on strike we saw the imposing of the martial law 
by journal diet and we saw the Jallianwala Bagh incident happening. Then after that, we talked about the Khilafat movement, Khilafat cooperation, uh, Khilafat movement, right? And how Gandhi ji supported it, how Gandhi ji convinced the people to come together for a non-cooperation movement, right? Non-cooperation movement. So of course it started, different people have their different meanings to it and we discussed about this part, how the town people responded, they uh, gave back their titles, their jobs, their schools, right? In the countryside it was taken in a very other way, we talked about the Avad and we talked about the Gudim Hills in Andhra Pradesh, then we talked about the plantation workers. Then of course we talked about these, the end of the non-cooperation movement by the incident which, is hap which happened in the Chauri Chaura, right? And Gandhiji called off the non-cooperation movement. Then of course we saw the formation of Swaraj party. Simon came back to our, uh, Simon came, uh, Simon commission came to our country. There was the opposition of it. The world was under the economic depression, so price was falling. The condition of our country economically was very bad at that particular time. On top of it, we saw the Simon Commission coming and of course at that particular time, we have the status. Irwin said, ha, huh, you take the status, but of course we don't want so That's why we saw the formation of the Poorn Swaraj demand in Lahore session in 1929. Then of course everyone, what we saw? 26 January 1930 declared as Independence Day, but nobody was aware about it, right? Nobody was aware about this. So, Gandhiji wanted to make sure it's, it's happening. So, we saw the launch of the civil disobedient movement by breaking the SALT law. SALT law was break and of course, it was the beginning of the CDM. Everyone in just five minutes will be able to finish our class. Five more minutes, right? So, the government responded. The civil disobedient movement was running, but of course, uh, the government was not very sure of it. So they started arresting people and a lot of violence also happened. So Gandhiji called off it. And of course, he went to the second round table conference, signed the Irwin Gandhi Pact. Yes. Then of course, we talked about the losing the momentum of, of the movement. We talked about the peasants, rich and the poor peasant. Take a screenshot, everyone. Jaldi say. Take a screenshot of this. People have different issues with the movement, right? Then we discussed about the industry businessmen and the participation uh, of the industrial worker and the women. Very good. Okay? Everyone have their own opinion about it. And after that, we talked about the struggle of the Dalit. How they were not very convinced with the Congress. That, that is the reason they didn't support the civil disobedience movement in the beginning. Yeah, here we have, then of course we have the select, uh, the selective, uh, yeah, over here everyone, what we have, we have the sense of collective belongingness, right? All of these steps were taken to, to make sure that people are united and people are coming together for the nation struggle and for the freedom. Congress are Indians only, ha ha, bilkul sir, Indians hi the. Congress can revoke, but nahi, wo nahi kar sakte hai. that particular time, British has the power, right? Yes. Few Britishers, very, not majority men to nahi the. Okay? With this everyone, happily, we can say that everyone, we have finished this particular chapter. It is, it was a one shot. Thank you so much everyone for staying till the end. Now, kya karna hai? Those of you who have watched the session, very good. Who have stayed with us till the end. Awesome everyone, thank you so much. And those who could not watch the session, I understand. I'm sure there's important things and important exams. So don't worry, watch this session later. Please do read your NCRT. NCRT pad ke aana hai. Right in the upcoming weeks, everyone will have a quiz, we'll have a detailed discussion. Important questions ke upar bhi, we'll have the discussions. Right? So don't worry, read the NCRT. Now your agenda, your homework for this week is the Reading of the NCRT, talking about the homework question everyone, write about the Pune Pact, because these pacts are really important, write about the Pune Pact and mention about the Irwin's Pact also, write about the year and what had happened, clear? Yes, homework question I want all of you to write, very good, we will let you know when we will have the next session, right? 
But everyone, now we will try to finish off your syllabus as soon as possible because your exams are approaching, especially your midterm examination. Okay, so two chapters are done from the history. We'll, pay, we'll pick the pace in the political science, economics and in geography. Don't worry about it. With this everyone, I'll say bye-bye. Right? Thank you so much everyone for staying so long and uh, so late. Lots of love to each one of you everyone. I hope that you have understood the chapter. If at all there are any difficulties, please watch this session again. Read your NCRT, watch this session. You don't need anything else. You will be sorted for this. Okay? Lots of love to each one of you who are here with us. Thank you so much Flex. Uh, Anshita, Team 7. Good night everyone. I'll be meeting you really very soon. Till that time, do take care of yourself and keep on learning with Baijus. Lots of love everyone. Bye-bye. Good night.